Why pray? Why preach? Let her seek her directions teach. Body, body is taught was just her hand to a soul, a way of representing my soul though, realizing it soon, realizing it soon, gender was just like stars awarded back in school, red for the boys, it was the brightest, yellow, the bright for girls and black, the dullest if thing down there is uncertain. She didn't like that color black. She didn't like that color black, color her black. Rather, she turned out amazingly and found that rainbow in that black for her black. To the one who was thrown out of school at the age of 10, to the one who was judged by society for every bit, every winch, and every now and then, the one you judged is now the first India's woman judge, woman transgender judge, Joyita Mandal Mahi. Why pray, why preach? Let her seek and her actions teach. Silence, just silence. Your voice, your thoughts, your, aspira your aspirations, your desires and you are just meant to be in four walls. Kya karegi ye par likke? She just grabbed those words in her soul, feeding them up with constant thought. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm born to do something. Something incredibly amazing, something my soul crave for, something my heart beat for, something they are scared of. Flames, flames, they burned flames of revolution in there. You can surely shoot my heart, but never my thought. Let's quote her every time. Every time you think of pulling yourself back because of temporary ends, because of temporary clauses you put in your life. Malala Yusufi. Why pray, why preach? Let her seek and her actions teach. Spider-Man, Batman and all other things we would have ever heard. Myths or reality, who knows. But I assure you, her life assures you. Like Rome, she was built, built out of ashes. Unlike Phoenix, she knew how to rise and assert. Married at age of 18, like forced married at age of 18, was like, uh, was in accidental, was stuck to an accident, a major accident at the age of 22, got stuck in bad, almost like a dead body for fucking two years. And then she's on now, she's on wheelchair now. Of course, of course, she have thousands of reasons to die, thousands of reasons she could have thought every millisecond of her life why to live, why to live this life anymore. But that one constant thought she was up with that I didn't came this far to come just this far. Let life get much more brutal, let life hit me hard, but I'll still stand here like a brightest sunshine and overcome all the darkest storm out there. And here we have an iron lady, Muniba Mazari, not a myth but an auspicious reality. Before ending, I want to apologize to all women I've ever called pretty, not because they were not pretty, but because they are much, much, much more than that, much more than anything my words can be phrased into. Why pre? Why preach? Let her seek and her actions teach. The world for her was filled with millions of mouths that talk, but none, none of them had anything to speak. This is messiness of, messiness of life that we, ca that we carry multitude, but, but we must tie a note that we can't be caged. We can't be caged for long, not when we aspire, we desire, we deserve to be an ocean. Thank you and happy Women's Day guys.